Hey y'all, what's going on? What's going on? Let's get some people in this. In this motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Got a lot of stuff to go over in such a short amount of time. Got a lot of stuff to go over in such a short amount of time. I am live on YouTube. I'm live on TikTok. And I'm live on, um, no, this is Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. Live, 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 live. And I just got some things to go over. And if y'all have any questions about buy here, pay here, uh, or uh, used car lot, tow business, importing, y'all can ask me because I am the motherfucking king. Some of y'all may not like me. Don't give a fuck. Go fuck yourself. I'm the shit. And the reason I'm the shit is I came from absolutely nothing. I had everything. At least I thought I had everything. And I lost it. And now I have gained it all back ten times more in such a short amount of time. Such a short amount of time I have gained it all back. So I don't have to impress anybody. I don't have to, uh, I have proven myself in the used car industry. Um, <laughs> I know, Adam, I'm not a driver <laughs> in the, uh, uh, at, at, at a auto auction. I own a car dealership. I own a tow truck business. I own an import export business and I own a mechanic shop so and I have done all this very quickly and how I did all this I bust my ass doing it may sound a little bit cocky so be it um, but I've been through hell and back and um, I, I I have I, I I have I have been through hell and back, folks. Hey, what's up, AJ? Um, but but it's been a roller coaster, and I have learned so much. I, I have made mistakes. I have made a bunch of mistakes, but I learned from every mistake that I have made. Um, uh, I, I have been through hell, but if you like me, you like me. If you don't, that's okay too. Um, but yeah, man, uh, it, it's, it, it's been like crazy. Okay. I uh, hope all is well. Uh, you are the man. You help a lot of guys start their car dealers or car lots. Yes, I have, and I, I, um, it's funny. Like if you look at. A bunch of people out out there are super appreciative but a bunch of people out there forgot where they came from um, like what what hurt the most in all this stuff is the people that was crying at my desk when I was on top for the first first time was the first ones to talk shit but now uh, nobody's talking shit right now uh, and the reason why I'm on top again and in fact not to brag but I'm gonna brag okay when I lost everything and I trust me folks I lost everything 
people were laughing when I was working for Uber. Laughing. And then a year later, I owned four businesses, very successful, doing things that others can dream, and I surpass them. I, per I surpass everyone that has talked shit. And maybe I'm coming off as a little bit defiant right now, but <laughs> I don't care. I have proven myself. And, and I have helped a whole lot of people. And I'm very, very proud of that. And I own this group we're in right, right now. I, I own this group. And I see day after day after day other people giving the worst advice ever when it comes to used car dealership. One says, I sold 43 last month. Give me five, man. Bam! That, that is awesome. That's awesome, man. You are rocking and rolling, brother. Uh, one says, I, I remember, bro, back in 2018. Yes, exactly. Um, what's up, Mark Sanderson is in the house. Hey, everybody that just joined. Um, let me get back up here. There we go. I, let's see, I started my dealership in 2008 because of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I haven't looked back since. That is awesome, Miguel. That is absolutely awesome. See, I, I have helped a lot of people. A lot of people in this business and when I look at my my Facebook page and stuff that I'm going live on right now I see the worst advice that people is given the absolute worst advice so I thought today I'm gonna to come on and I'm gonna give y'all some good advice uh, and I'm going to keep it real today. I was keeping it real back then. I'm going to keep it real today. Things have changed. Doing business has changed. Now, I will say and I will um, tell everybody, my, my road to recovery in the used car market my downfall had zero to do with my ability of buying, selling, and making money. Zero to do. It had to do with all the partners I accumulated. That was my downfall. It had nothing to do with my ability to buy and sell. And that's why, bam, I'm on top quick. But I did have some help. Rat Tray Automotive. Rat Tray helped me out. Just like I helped him, him out. In his time of need, Rat Trey helped me out. Kenneth and, and Conchita Klein helped me out. They've been my followers since 2015. They have helped me out and helped me build this place. Mark Sanderson is, is just an awesome, awesome dude. And uh, I, I believe I saw him here. Uh, but he is an awesome dude, and, and, and he has helped me build uh, quickly. And I would tell you that, that I would still be on top, but not as quick, if it wasn't for the help that I received. And I love y'all for it. Thank you very much. Now, now like I said, this my group here is full of bad advice bad advice oh uh, let me uh, tell you real quick that that I had to cancel my seminar in Orlando on the first and second not for bad news for good news uh, I just refunded uh, $7,172 via cash out to all the people who bought tickets so um, it will be rescheduled, but um, I just went ahead and refunded all the money via cash out. It was 7,172 bucks. 
So I appreciate it. That, that, and I mean, it was only 28 people uh, that already purchased the tickets. And that, that is, thank you so much. Thank you. That, that, that made me so smile and, and just proved in my ego mind that I still have it. And uh, so, so it, it's canceled. And the reason it's canceled because I have to go to London and then to Japan. Uh, London, I will be in in uh, the, I want to say the 8th through the 16th, I will be in London. Uh, if anyone wants to go uh, to buy cars and import, you're welcome to go with me. Of course, there is a fee if you want to go. It's importcoolcars.com, but I am leaving on August 8th. Some big things happening in the UK. I've got to be there. I did not want to buy that expensive ass ticket on short notice, but I had to. Uh, and at the end of the month, I will be in Japan. Japan is y'all will see when I get there. Um, but I wanted to go over today some some stuff here, and I wanted to go over. Today, some stuff that will help you out uh, in your car. Um, number one, let's talk about pricing. Okay, pricing has changed. Everything has changed in the used car market. Everything. Pricing has came down. I don't know where you live, but I am seeing it all across the country pricing is coming down uh, a buddy of mine just bought a a 2020 uh, very low mileage Civic for for 16,000 bucks that that is a very very good deal considering the model and the kind of Civic that he bought so so prices are, are coming down if you are um, uh, interested in hiring cars or lowering cars prices are coming down um, now as far as as pricing to the public what how much of a percentage do y'all have to make when I buy a car I don't go after a certain percentage. I go after, will this make money or won't it? Will this make money in the worst circumstances ever? Will this make money? That's how I think. I buy a car with the thinking it's got a bad motor or trans. That's how I buy cars. And if that still doesn't make money, or that if I buy that car and it's all mad, messed up, all just just unfixable, can I still get my money back? If the answer is no, I will not buy that car. I will not take that chance. Just won't do it. I will not buy the car. I will not take that chance if that's the case. But, but I offer, I, I, there's so much stuff that I want to go over in such a little time because I have like a $500 tow waiting on me, but I bumped it up 45 minutes so I can make this video. Um, but that's how I buy cars. You know, I can't get rid of it in the worst case scenario and don't lose a dollar, then I will buy it. Um, I have never purchased a car that was MMR. If I purchased cars that were MMR, then I couldn't make no money. I have bought cars during the pandemic. I have never overpaid for a car. 
I, I refuse to overpay for a car because they're out there. They're, there's, they've always been out there. They've always been out there. The cars have always been out there, folks. It's just you had to look for them. And I look for them every single time. And I found them. And that's how I kept going. I started this dealership and it, it, it was absolutely crazy. I, I started this dealership with low money and and I stuck to my ways. I stuck to my ways and I built it up. And now it's, it, it's running good. Along with my mechanic shop, my tow business, my import business, it's running good. Now, I'm going to tell you some things now that I have changed and hopefully you will use them in your car lot. And this is absolutely free. I'm not going to charge you anything for telling you this. Um, but I have a tier system and I offer a warranty for every car I sell. I do not have a warranty company. Um, I, I I started to do a lot of stuff with banks. In, in fact, let's see, where did I have that? Uh, year to date, I had 60 bank deals. 60 bank deals. And I regret it. And I don't do Westlake no more. I don't do Western. I don't do Route 1. I regretted the 60 deals I sent to them. Because I could have been making that money. Now, my buy here, pay here has changed. My, um, I, I don't do any more bank deals because I think it's a waste of money waste of time uh, they have a clause 90 percent of your banks has a clause that if your customer don't make or their customer don't make the first payment you have to buy the car back and then repo it from that customer like holy hell and and some of them like westlake will finance anybody that's breathing especially western funding they don't get nothing for cars, but they will finance anybody. But the problem with them, if the people you sell to don't make that first payment, oh my God, you have to buy that deal back and you have to repo the car yourself. That is no good. Now, I only had to do that uh, with one of them, uh, but I would have had to do it with more of them if I didn't make their first payment because that was the deal. I, and I know you're not supposed to do that, but I mean, that's what I did to get the deal funding. It's just too, too stressful. Uh, it, it is just, just a pain in the butt. And why do all that when you can make all that money yourself? And folks, right now, and this is the first time I'm saying this anywhere right right now I uh, I offer warranties I have a tier of warranty uh, it starts off at 50 then 75 and then a hundred a week extra onto their payment and you're sitting there thinking as a dealer oh they're not gonna be able to afford that oh my god yes they do I see it every single day. They do. Some people are are selling warranties through a bunch of different co uh, companies, and I tried that. And and why let them make the money when you can make all the money? And you're thinking, well, shoot, if you if you think about it. This is how this asshole came back up so so quick. Well, here's what I did. I do a labor-only warranty for fifty dollars 
per week. That means car breaks down, they bring me the part, I fix it, no problem. And I do it as many times as they want to. I own a mechanic shop, okay? The mechanic shop is right here at my business, okay? $75 will get you the labor and a rental, a car that I have. It's sitting out there right now. It's a Toyota Camry. It's a 2010 Toyota Camry four-cylinder. Bam. I love you too, David. Now, you're asking yourself, oh my God, Rick, you sell junk cars. Like, how, how are you going to make this? And how are, and why will they pay? Because most of my customers get the $75 a week warranty. That's $75 a week for your warranty. And you have um, $75 to $100 a week for your payment. So every customer is paying, and and very few customers turn turn this down. Very few customers turn this down. Listen to me. Peace of mind is priceless. Rick, my car broke down. I need to get to work. Don't worry, bro. I get a car out to you right now and pick up yours. Bam. Seamless. No questions. No problem. Right now, I have uh, about 40 on this program right now. Uh, 30, 35. 35 on this program right now. Where is my rental car? My rental car is here. Think about it. And for those of y'all, I am on live on TikTok. I'm live uh, on Facebook right here. And I'm live on uh, YouTube right here. So if you have any questions, just go ahead and ask me. And I will get to every single question. Now, think about it, folks. You're, we are responsible for the labor. Okay? And we're responsible for, to, for the rental car. They're responsible for the part. Part can get expensive, no problem. But our next tier is seventy-five uh, is a hundred dollars per week. Per week, that's four hundred dollars a month. They pay, and that covers rental car. That covers. Uh, parts and labor they don't have to do anything and they are happy to pay that because of peace of mind they're paying eight hundred dollars a month for a car they're paying eight hundred dollars a month for peace of mind and peace of mind is priceless when you can't afford anything if you, I, I have dealt with warranty companies, okay? What are they going to do? We will reimburse you for the rental car up to $40 a day. We will reimburse you. Not, hey, we're going to rent it for you. No, no. We are seamless. Seamless. Rick, my car breaks down. We have a car on the way to you right now. So you can get to work. So you can pay us. They love it. So $100 is everything. Parts and labor. If you have a mechanic shop, uh, it works out great for you because you're paying your mechanics anyway. Like I'm paying mine. The thing is, very few cars will come in. Like uh, this week, I had a car with an alternator that came in and a bad starter. That's it. My rental car went out one time this week. Now, 
And here's what you do until you get going good. Every payment you, you get, let's, let's say that you get $100 for your warranty. You always put $50 in a separate account because you never know when the car needs a motor or a trans or something like that. Um, but again, it's super cheap. You buy one used, have your mechanics put it in, bam. That has not happened yet. Um, and I got some raggedy ass cars on this warranty right now. It just hasn't happened yet. When it does, you're prepared. But it can happen once a week and I'd still be happy. I'd still be made. A car could need a motor once a week and you'd still be making a killing off this program. And some slow dealer out there is sitting in his chair right now and says they will never pay $200 a week. Yes, they will. I have over 35 people that does every week. What kind of cars do I buy? Now, I don't go out and buy Nissan Versus and put them on that warranty. No. Um, any car that I sell for cash, I do not put on any warranty. This is just the finance, the buy here, pay here stuff. I put on the warranty. That's what I do. Uh, do I need a special license to offer warranty? In Florida, you do need a special license to offer warranty, but you can get that fairly quick, fairly easy. Missouri, you don't need a special license. Uh, Arkansas, you don't need a special license. Um, there's many states you don't need, especially if it, everything is in-house. Um, but check with your state. But if you do, then get it. Okay? Uh, you know your buyer's guide, your as-is form? Warranty. Warranty. Peace of mind, folks. I'm telling you, peace of mind is worth its weight in gold. Offer warranties with your vehicles. I have a tier of buy here, pay here. If you're like, let's say you are here for the first time, for the very first time. I don't know you, you haven't bought a car before, you're here for the first time. If you don't come in here with half or more down, you're not getting financed. You're not. But when you do, because a lot of people do, because I haven't been here but for a year. So, so a lot of people do. And, and, and by the way, we just bought another piece of property on the same road or right down the street. We're putting the second car lot in. Um, if you look back on my videos on YouTube, you will see the second car lot we have bought. So, um, so if you don't bring more than half down, that's it. You are absolutely uh, done. Uh, I will give you a warranty too, Joe. Um, let's see. Uh, two months or three months you have this this car your 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 first car you're eligible to trade up for another car in three months you cannot have no late payments at all that means you're out joe and <laughs> and you got to put 500 more with it and we will give you a better car and then six months you put 250 and your trade-in, and we will give you a better car. People do this like crazy. Joe is a customer of mine. 
and he has bought one, two, three, four, four or five cards from me. I think a little bit more. Four or five cards. Good customer. Keep coming back. Way ahead, never. <laughs> You're right, Joe. Uh, and um, and and then the tier four is, is six more months, and then zero down, and then you can trade in your car every six months if you like something better. Uh, and that's how I do it, and that's why I have built up so damn quick. Um, like, y'all just don't understand the people that's giving advice on my face, Facebook uh, group. Man, I look at their advice and I think, oh my God, they're, they're, they're giving bad advice. And then when I comment about that that advice sucks, oh, then I'm the asshole and I'm the bad guy. Like, there's a lot of people that, that don't like me. There is a hell of a lot of people that don't like me. But I think they just don't like success. Because I lost it all. Bad decision and partnering and all that stuff, I lost it all. I didn't lose it all because I didn't know how to sell a fucking car. Because I know how to sell a fucking car. I know how to buy a car. I know everything there is in cars. And I'm back up. And I'm back up. Why? Because I know what the hell I'm doing. And if you follow this warranty program that I just gave you for absolutely free and I gave you that for absolutely free because I had to cancel the seminar and everybody and I see a couple of people that has purchased tickets for the seminar it's already back in your cash app account I, I just refunded seven thousand one hundred and seventy two dollars back into 28 people's accounts um, not seventy one hundred each but whatever they paid for the tickets, it's already been refunded. Uh, and the reason is I have got to go to London. I invited Joe to go to London, but the asshole can't seem to get his passport in the mail. Um, so yeah, see, so uh, do you mechanics do the work for the public and the dealer cars? Yes. If you work for the public and the dealer cars, uh, and 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 it's good, it, it it is good. I I really suggest that that you have a mechanic shop if you're going to do this, and it's no problem opening up a mechanic shop. Find you a mechanic. It's, it's worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. Uh, again, am importing cars. On the 8th, I leave for London, England again. And if anybody wants to go with me uh, and buy cars, I guarantee you, guarantee you will make good money. You go with me, you listen to it. It's going to cost you to go with me because I'm not a, a cheap date. But if you go with me, let me help you pick out the cars in England, take them to my storage lot, and ship them over here. You will make ten to twenty-five thousand per car, guaranteed. If you don't make that, then I buy. I buy. If you don't make that, it's like taking candy from a baby. So, if you want to step into where the, where the big dogs are, come with me to London. My um, website is importcoolcars.com. Importcoolcars.com. It's nothing that I can teach you over a video. It's not like 
keep keep in mind, two people has went there with, with they saw my videos, and two people have went there without me. Two. The first one called me crying in London and wired me five thousand dollars for for me to get him out of his pickle. The second person paid me twenty five hundred dollars. Twenty five hundred dollars to get him out of his pickle because he didn't know what to do. And, and it's really hard to do it over the phone. It's really hard to do it over a video. You have to be there. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it is it, it, it is crazy. So, uh, if y'all want to go, let me know. Um, you can reach me at importcoolcars.com uh, if you cannot go, but you want a vehicle from there, then I will buy you a vehicle and put it on the ship for you for a nice fee, because I don't work cheap. But that fee will still make you a bunch of money when the car gets here. Um, if you're if you're close to a Baltimore port, a Florida port, a New York port, a Los Angeles port, um, then it will arrive very quick, quickly. If you want it to be shipped to Galveston, it's going to take a while. So, but I, I've already booked my tickets. I have got to get back over to the UK. There's some very important stuff happening over there. So if y'all want to go with me, uh, y'all y'all will be very happy, very very happy. So let me know, and you can reach me importcoolcars.com. Um, but anyway, that's about it. That, that's about all that I wanted to say. So now I will answer any of y'all's questions. If y'all have questions for me, I'll be happy to answer. Any of y'all's questions? Uh, TikTok. Uh, Rick is wearing his uh, Copart forklift driver uniform. No, I'm wearing my tow truck driver uniform. Okay, tow truck driver. And today, I just got... Uh, uh, I... Uh, Joe told, told me that I could run blue lights on my tow truck and uh, I'm like okay I don't want to just order blue lights for the tow truck uh, and uh, get in trouble so I called the state and the state has an application uh, and I filled out the I filled out the application and got approved for blue lights on the tow truck for safety it's awesome um, and, uh, yes, I am a tow truck driver. I am a tow truck operator, baby, and I love it. Of course, I own the tow trucks. Uh, it takes, it takes forever next trip. Way ahead, never late. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, any more questions from um, Facebook? How about TikTok? TikTok? Any more questions? Okay, TikTok has some questions. And uh, da, 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 da. what's this? YouTube. YouTube, do you have any questions for me? You're absolutely right, Joseph. Uh, TikTok, yes, un unfortunately, it has been canceled. It's been canceled because, because I have got to go to England and Japan. And Japan is going to be right around where the seminar was. And to be quite honest, the seminar is, is way less important 
than what's happening in Japan. So, so I've I've got to go to Japan. But again, uh, all the tickets, the 28 tickets sold, and I'm thankful for the 28 tickets sold. I, I, I was really expecting maybe at the end of the day about 50 people at the seminar, but since 28 tickets already sold and the majority of tickets sell just before the seminar, it was going to be a good seminar so we will definitely reschedule but if you did buy tickets the money is already in cash out right now uh you already got refunded i refunded everything just before this uh this video uh, <laughs> Yes, yes, I'm still, still, yes, of course, I'm still with Lily. In fact, uh, I'm trying to make her go to London with me, but we're having problems um, finding a babysitter. Even though Audrey is 16 now, has a driver's license, has a car, but uh, we still need a babysitter. So if y'all know any babysitters out there, let me know. Um, let's see here. Yes, the tow truck business is, uh, he asked, how, how is the tow truck business? The tow truck business is excellent, folks. Um, I am on call 24 hours a day. In fact, I'm going to leave right now to go to Springfield to pick up a, uh, a 3500 truck that seemingly broke down. And uh, it, it, it has been awesome. Um, I, I wish that there was three of me. Um, because car, car sales has been a little down since I have the tow truck because I'm always gone. Um, and, and my star freaking employee is working at someplace else that's paying 50 bucks an hour because he's an EMT and all that shit. Um, my EMT, he's got a lot of medical stuff, which I, I can't say no. I think it's badass and I wouldn't hinder him from working there um, but but uh, I I really need him at the office yeah man come, uh, come on a ride come on and ride let's ride I'm at the office now so come on let's go And Joe's going to ride with me, thank God. So I won't have to go up there by myself. We're going to Springfield and we're getting a truck and we're rocking and rolling. Absolutely, Joe. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Shimon. <laughs> you just made it here you missed a lot you missed a hell of a lot uh, so goodbye Facebook I love it I love y'all guys thank y'all so much I've got to go and uh, tick tock Thank you. I love y'all guys. I have to go. And my favorite YouTube. You're the only one that I'm going to leave um, leave up here. Uh, if I came off as a little cocky, I'm sorry. Uh, but 
but uh, it's time to rock and roll. Folks, I'm serious. I cannot explain this enough, okay? Get the clouds out of your head. I'm going to London next week on the 8th, or maybe it's the week after, but I'm going to London on the 8th. You want to go with me? You got to buy your ticket now, and you got to go to import cool cars, and uh, you can pay my my fee, and then you can go with me, and I guarantee you, you will make a bunch of money. We're gonna buy like I'm gonna buy a couple cars, and then uh, and you can buy a couple cars, and it'll be a money making experience. Importcoolcars.com. If you cannot go, uh, I will buy your cars for you for a fee. For a fee. What's up, man? This is Joe right here. What's up? Thank you. I don't want to go by my damn self. But uh, I love y'all guys. Peace out. I'm gone.